In this tutorial, I am going to explain how to use the insert statement to insert new records in a table. The insert into statement is used to insert new records in a table. So these are the two syntaxes of the insert into statement. It is possible to write the insert into statement in two ways. The first way specifies both the column names and the values to be inserted. If you are adding values for all the columns of the table, you do not need to specify the column names in the SQL query. However, make sure the order of the values in the same order as the column in the table. So the insert into syntax would be follows as this. It is also possible to only insert data in specific columns. So let me show you with an example. We have to go to the SQL command line interface. In this, I have created a EMP table. Let me show you its metadata. Describe EMP. Semicolon and enter. There are four columns present in this table along with its data types as follows. We also have not null constraint for this employee ID, employee name and salary column. To insert the first record in this table, we have to type insert into after that we have to give the table name which is emp now in this bracket we have to give the column names as follows emp id comma emp name comma address comma salary after that we have to give values and in the next bracket we have to give the record first record so emp id we can give 101 comma we have to give quotations because the where care for where care we have to give quotations for, to insert the record so employee name would be Ashe, comma, third is address, Mumbai, comma, and the salary. So after giving semicolon and enter, now our first record has been created in the EMP table. To verify this, let me show you that record. For that, select star from emp table so now the first record has been inserted into our table if you are adding values for all the columns of the table you don't need to specify the column names in the query in the first query i have specified all the column names in first bracket however you have to make sure that the order of the values is in the same order as the column in the table as you have defined in the table definition. For the second record, we can use the second syntax of the insert statement. For this, we have to give insert into emp table and we have to give values. And in the one bracket, we have to give only the record that we have to put in the EMP table. So the second record will be event 102, comma, RAM, comma, place will be Pune, comma, and the salary. After giving semicolon, the second record has been inserted. Let me show you. So now there are two records present in the EMP table. For the third record, if we do not have the address or if we don't have to put the address for the third record, we can use like this. Insert into EMP. In bracket, we just have to give EMP ID emp name and salary so let me type that 
EMP ID, EMP name, and salary. After that, values, and we just have to give only these three values. So one zero three, comma. Rajesh, comma, and just salary. The record has been created. Let me show you how it looks like. So now the three records are present here, but for one zero three, the address is not inserted. Now, if we want to populate one table using another table, so you can do that. For that, we have to use the following query. So here I have the another table which has the same metadata. Let me show you. EMP1. So it has the same metadata like the EMP table. If we have to put all the records or a specific record into this EMP1 table, we can do that like this. We just have to type insert into EMP1 and we have to give the column names EMP ID comma EMP name comma address and salary after that we have to give select emp id comma emp name comma address comma salary we have to give the same column names after that from emp and we can use where condition to insert the specific column where emp id equal to 101 so the one row is created let me show you. We can use select star from EMP1. We have inserted one record from the another table into the EMP1 table. In this video, we have learned the various ways to insert the data into our table in our database. For further videos, please subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell to get updated.